place. This is the WordCamp experience every month, getting involved in the local community. Oh, you're in the, Aaron's in the wrong place. Um, how many of you have been to a local meetup in the Atlanta area? Raise your hand. Awesome. How many of you would like to come to a WordPress meetup in the local area? I hope the people that raised their hands earlier raised their hands again. <laughs> we, <laughs> we want you back. So, awesome. Cool. Um, well, this was an idea that Naomi Bush had um, because we really, you know, we always get so much feedback from WordCamp. This is amazing, it's exciting, and it's like, you know what, we kind of do this every month. It may be a little bit smaller, but we do this all the time. So I'm going to let Naomi, uh, if you'll just kind of explain what you had in mind and why you, you wanted to do this. Well, who here is having an awesome time? <laughs> all right. And like Brad said, that's what we hear. You know, that WordCamp is awesome. You know, whether it's the topics or meeting up with new friends. Uh, we had a meetup last month, and there were people that were undecided on WordCamp. And as people that have been to WordCamp just started sharing, they said, well, wow, you have convinced me. And I've seen several of them around here, and I say, how's it going? And they're like, wow, this is awesome. Because whether you are a beginner or whether you are a, the most advanced developer, the one thing about meetups is that we all get to learn from each other, all right? And so that's, that was the impetus for this because I think meetups are, meetups are awesome. We get to continue this experience every month. And um, what I wanted was an opportunity for all of the meetups here in the Atlanta area because what you'll find is that each meetup has their own culture, all right? We all do things a little bit differently. Uh, we all tailor things to, uh, to our particular area. And, um, you know, I just believe that meetups are, uh, are a great opportunity for you to not only learn, uh, but for you to get more involved. Uh, there are some people who maybe you want to speak, right? Your local meetup is a great place. For the last three months, uh, we have had... Um, we have had two more speakers uh, come out of our meetup, and for the last two months, we've been doing practices, right? So if you want to kind of get your feet wet with speaking and you're not sure about maybe the big stage, meetups are great for that. Um, another thing that, uh, that I think meetups are, are great for is, um, I lost my train of thought, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, meetups are awesome and uh, you should get involved. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great idea. Um, and she brought it to the organizing team. The organizing team's like, wow, we had not, that, like, that's a great idea. So we wanted to do a whole session around this. Um, so the format, let me tell you that, and I'm just going to facilitate as long as I, as y'all let me. So, <laughs> um, but um, basically we've got, a, we're going to go around and I want to introduce you to everyone. They're going to introduce themselves, where they meet, uh, the time. Um, and then if there's specifics about that meetup, like what it's geared to, uh, towards, like there's some that might be a little bit more, you know, hey, we do a lot of dev talks, um, we do a lot of user talks, we do a lot of design, or we do all of it. Um, so we'll talk about that a little bit, we'll go through, and then we've got a few questions like how do I become a speaker at a meetup? What does it mean to be a sponsor at a, at a meetup? What does, what does that mean? Um, so we've got some questions and a panel, and then we want questions from you. So if you have questions on uh, how, do I, how, I can get, how you can get involved in what we're doing, um, then feel free to ask. We've got two folks that will be uh, handing the microphone uh, to the attendees here. Uh, and then afterwards, the last part of this, all of us will be around the room, and it's a great opportunity to just do a meet and greet of, hey, you know, I just want to learn a little bit more about the Noonan WordPress meetup, and you can talk to Melanie about that and meet her. Um, so that's, that's kind of what we wanted to do with this. So we will start with Mickey. Go ahead. Turn on. Up. I'm Mickey Mellon. Um, have a meetup called A Brighter Web that I've run for about five years. Not actively doing it this year right now just because of busyness of this and other things. But uh, yeah, I've done that. Really aimed at all users, kind of a businessy slant, some of that kind of stuff. Not real dev heavy. Um, yeah, that's kind of where we were. Oh, sorry, yeah, in Marietta. Yeah. No, no location right now. No location. Yeah, but we'll, have it periodic yeah. we'll have it periodically throughout the year in Marietta. So. 
Are you sure you're done now? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I'm Jason Nevin. Um, I run a meetup out in Douglasville. Uh, so anybody that wants to come out west uh, on meetup.com, it is West Georgia WordPress because uh, I don't want to just be Douglasville. We want all of West Georgia to come. So, um, and really anybody else from wherever you are. Uh, our focus is uh, whatever. Um, I'm definitely the newest one here. We started in January, but we uh, have had a pretty good turnout so far, averaging around about 10 people, which I'm super excited about. And um, we've got a permanent spot now, so uh, come out, check us out, and uh, come to the very cool city of Douglasville. Where? Where in Douglasville? It is in downtown Douglasville, if you're familiar at all with downtown area. Where is Douglasville? <laughs> what you're saying? So you're saying where in, where in Douglasville? Um, our location, uh, a local agency just uh, moved into a building in downtown Douglasville. Uh, it is Fame uh, Internet Marketing, I think is their name. Um, and they're letting us use their basement, which sounds a little creepy, but it's not. It's an old bank. Um, uh, and it's like where the drive through people, uh, where they used to have like a drive through window and stuff there. But it's right across from uh, the Regents Bank building on the like main corner there in Douglasville. Did you t say the time? What is oh, the time? it is, um, we uh, are trying to meet the third Thursday of every month because with all the others, that was just an open slot. And uh, we are a uh, lunchtime one from 11.30 to one. Cool. Hi, my name's Kevin Roberts and I'm the lead organizer for the uh, Southwest Gwinnett WordPress user group. And uh, we're a meetup that meets seven to 9 p.m. the third Tuesday of every month. And we meet in the Peachtree Corners Norcross area. Uh, we meet in the Atlanta Tech Park is the name of the facility. It's uh, like a co-working space. Uh, uh, I don't know what, what you call it. Uh, uh, incubator. One of those incubator. incubator, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, and uh, really nice facility and uh, good Wi-Fi and everything. So we're very, very blessed, so. Cool, thank you. Hey. <clears throat> Me. My name is uh, A. Aaron, and <laughs> I lead the Atlanta meetup. Uh, I inherited it from Judy Knight, so it's been around since I think it's 2008 or so. Um, and we meet, uh, we used to meet off of a street called Ponce, and now we're off of Piedmont, if you guys are familiar with those. Um, sorry, I had to, after the Douglasville thing. Um, anyway, <laughs> we're, we're meeting at Buckhead at Rome, um, second Tuesday uh, at 7 o'clock. Um, there is not one this month because of this, and I'm somewhat lazy. Um, but <laughs> our topics are from you know comparing page builders and form builders to A/B testing. Um, I mean, just about any type of topic. And if you feel like you need to talk, I'm looking for speakers always. Thanks, so. Thank you. So I found my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> So I am the uh, lead organizer of WordPress Gwinnett, and um, it got started after I attended my first WordCamp in 2012, and I said, wow, this is awesome. I want to do this some more. And so I, um, I added it to Meetup, and we got our first sponsor who said, hey, do you need a space? And so we have been there ever since, and um, our um, co-organizer, Micah, is here. Um, I think that we have some WordPress Gwinnett members <laughs> that are here as well. If you hear right. WordPress Gwinnett, yeah, there you guys go. Um, <laughs> WordPress Gwinnett. Oh, I'm Naomi. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm Naomi. And uh, we actually have several different meetups. Um, so our main meetup is in Lawrenceville, downtown Lawrenceville. It's the third Thursday of every month. Uh, we've also just expanded. We now have a meetup the first Tuesday. Sorry, first Tuesday of every month in Snellville. Micah is the um, the leader of that. We also have. I'm sorry. So um, downtown Lawrenceville is at 6:30. Um, Snellville is at 7 p.m. Um, we also have um, our developer meetup. The developer meetup is the third Thursday in Lawrenceville at 7.45. And 
Then we have our hack day meetups, which are in Swanee, and those are at noon on Sundays. Uh, and we're expanding, so our goal is to be in every city in Gwinnett because um, our basically our general user meetup is a help session. So we do a free help session every month, just like you have the happiness bar here. We do that every month, and um, that I love that meetup. Uh, it is uh, our most attended meetup, and it's just really awesome getting to see what people are doing in the community and getting to help them meet their goals for free. Right, so we don't sell anything. And uh, sometimes some people, they, they don't understand that. They're like, surely you must be selling something. But no, we don't. We don't sell a single thing. We don't allow anyone to come in and sell anything to our members. Um, so if you're interested in getting involved, you can go to wpgwinnett.com. You can join there on our website. That's how we uh, communicate with our members. Um, I'm losing my train of thought again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll come back when you find um, it. <laughs> yes, speakers. Yes, if you are interested in speaking, yes, we want you. You can fill out our contact form. If there is a particular meetup that you want to see, we want to hear about that as well. Um, coming down from WordCamp Central is meetups. It can be as few as two or three people meeting in a cafe, or it can be a whole room like this. So if there are just two people that want to get together and perhaps uh, Barbara, she had, um, she wants to do a meetup for, um, what is it, for, for beauty, yeah, for beauty professionals, beauty professionals who use WordPress. So I said, yes, we're going to do that. Um, so that is WordPress Gwinnett. Thank yeah. you. All right. Question. Yes. Uh, those are, so those are our hack days. And um, what we find is that, you know, really we only get an hour uh, in our developer meetings. And sometimes we want to dive into a topic a little bit more. We want to learn something together. Maybe it's React. And so that's what, um, that's what our hack days are for. Uh, in Swanee, uh, right across from Town Center, there's a building there. And um, one of our sponsors, is she here? No. Um, but Physique Refinements, it's a uh, training studio. And so. Okay, cool. You can hang on to that. We got another one over here. Wow, that uh, one thing to think about. There's a lot going on in Gwinnett. It's a lot of time. It sounds like a full-time job. It, it, uh, there's a lot going on. But remember, this is all volunteer. It's all volunteer. And so, yes. <laughs> so, and and that's something else. Just like we have organizing teams here, we have co-coordinators for meetups. So if you want to be a participant and help out, that's open to you. Um, and also, as we kind of go around and you think about a map of Atlanta and where these meetups are, there are some places that are not represented. Um, so if you want to start a meetup in your area, that's also something that you can do. And anyone up here can help you start that process. Yep. And Angela is here from the community, and she can help you with that as well. So, And Kathy is also part of that yeah cool awesome so uh, uh, I'm Brad I run the North Fulton WordPress meetup anyone from Alpharetta Roswell Johns Creek coming north straight north of, of Atlanta anyone from that area here excellent good <laughs> so yeah so we've got a group we've been meeting for three and a half years now and uh, it's been one of the most fulfilling things I've been a part of. It is just, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we meet in the evenings. The th yes? Yeah, so the, the best thing would be it's make.wordpress.org that's going to have the details, the community section of that site. Am I correct in that? So online, make.wordpress.org is going to have the process and the application form that you can fill out. And then someone will be in contact with you from the WordPress community, and you'll, you'll, you'll talk to them through that process. So, yep, yep. 
Um, so my meetup is the third Wednesday of every month. We meet at Tech Alpharetta. It's near Avalon. Um, so it's a, a pretty easy location to get to. Uh, we started, again, three and a half years ago with five people. We've had some meetings where we get 40 plus. Uh, we probably average 10 to 25. Um, but it's an evening meeting. It's a social meeting. We like to go around and tell people, why are you, you know, what's your interest in WordPress? What's your name? Is there something we can help you with? Um, it is a very social, interactive meeting. So I, I'd love to see you there. We have talks that range from, you know, we don't do it. Naomi mentioned, and this is unique to the area, they have a developer-focused meetup. Uh, we've had a couple, and most of the people up here, the, the uh, talks we've had, we may fit a developer session in. Um, this, that's unique to the area, is having a sole meeting focused on developers. Um, ours, we will have a couple a year that are developer-focused, but usually um, it's geared towards WordPress professionals, 50% of the attendance, and then the other 50% are WordPress users. Um, so people that use WordPress and want to be able to use it better. So learn about plugins and themes and, um, and then professionals. How do you do this professionally and grow your, grow your business? Um, so that's it. So Tech Alpharetta. Yes. Third Wednesday of every month at 6.30 p.m. And we are, everyone up here is looking for speakers. So if you've got something that you want to talk about and we will talk first. about that. Okay. So, so go to Aaron's first. Yeah. So. <laughs> Susan. Good afternoon. Here's how you get over your fear of public speaking. You come back to lunch <laughs> and get thrown up on a stage. Um, my You're name welcome. is Susan Van Hammert, and I am co-organizer of Kennesaw WordPress Meetup. We meet in downtown Kennesaw, second Wednesday, 1130. And we are based in desktop co-working location at Giles in North Main. We have had visitors come from as far away as Douglasville and Grant Park. We have a great meeting. And at my meetings, it's been noted that people stay longer after the meeting. Maybe it's because there's a coffee bar dropped in the building. And um, this is the third weekend in a row that we've actually participated in an event that has to do with WordPress. Two weeks ago, we had a pro search at our meetup on a Saturday, had a great turnout. It ended up being more of a brainstorming session. This was an effort to support freelancers in the community who work with or want to plug into um, WordPress projects. And then last Saturday, we had our first happiness bar, and that was an absolute blast. It was so much fun. Everybody had walked away um, a little wiser, I believe. So again, um, my co-organizer is Marion Owen. He was here yesterday. Some of you met him. We've been doing this just over a year, having a great time doing it. We love it. Again, so Kennesaw, second Wednesdays, 1130, free coffee. Come see us. <laughs> <laughs> Bribing people. I like it. <laughs> Hi, my name's Robin Mulder. Um, I manage the Gainesville WordPress group. So Gainesville, Hall County, Athens, um, Flowery Branch, pretty much all of Northeast Georgia, because I don't think that there's another one in that Northeast Georgia area other than ours. Uh, we've been a little bit over a year, so we've had some great people come in and um, spend time. We've had a few speakers. Most of our uh, people that come are users. Um, small businesses in the area trying to manage their own WordPress. Um, some larger businesses having their employees come out. Um, some people just trying to start a blog and, and learn about WordPress at all. And then um, some developers have, have been a part of it as well. Uh, we are the second Thursday of every month at 12 at the Gainesville Bernal, Bernal Business Incubator. Uh, it's all right off 129 and 985. Uh, there's a restaurant there. It's called Hux. We, they let us come in, and you're welcome to grab a bite to eat. And uh, where we meet is in the, in the back of the room. There's a projector and speakers. Um, so we can have some detailed um, meetings, or we can just sit around and help each other out. Some meetings 
they're they're really just laid back. It's some sometimes it's just uh, hey, you know, what do you have? What does anybody have a problem with? What can we do to help? Um, <clears throat> I I think that's about it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hi, I'm April Weir. I run the Woodstock WordPress Meetup. We meet at the Circuit, which is a co-working space business incubator. And um, it looks like a gym, because that's what it used to be. It used to be the gym at Chattahoochee Tech in Woodstock. Um, and we meet the first and third Wednesdays at 11.30 to 1. You can make a full day of it. You can come to my meetup on the third Wednesday at 11.30. Then you can go to Brad. <laughs> Sometimes I do that, sometimes I just go take a nap instead. <laughs> but we uh, mostly are um, business focused, so we, wanna, we do a lot of SEO, we do a lot of content uh, planning. Really our focus is how to take WordPress and make it work for your business and how to make it just more powerful and, and bring in leads and conversions for your business. Although we do um, have uh, resources available for uh, users of all levels, and so if you come early or stay late, there's always somebody who's willing to help. Hello, I'm Melanie Adcock. Um, I started the Noonan Georgia um, WordPress meetup back in December. We've had a couple meetups so far. I'm, um, it's proven that finding a uh, place after hours is a little difficult in Noonan because <laughs> everything closes. Um, <laughs> uh, so it looks like we're going to be we're going to be doing it at lunchtime um, on the fourth Tuesday of every month. And uh, we didn't have one last month um, extenuating circumstances. So uh, we will meet at the end of this month. Uh, last Tuesday lunchtime. Uh, just make sure that you join the um, Noonan uh, group on meetup.com and you will get information. And that's a good reminder, meetup.com, if you join each of these groups, you'll get notified, you'll get an email on who the next speaker is and when the next meeting is. So what I would do, Atlanta WordPress meetup within 50 miles, 30 miles, and follow all of them so that you'll get notified and hey, there's a good talk that's coming up, this is something I'd, I'd be interested in. So, Kathy. I'm Kathy Drulin. And I have been facilitating the Marietta WordPress Meetup since 2011, which is a long time. <laughs> it's also how I know the names of all these people. Um, we meet the second Thursday of each month. I'm sorry, I used to meet on Thursday. It's the second Tuesday of each month in uh, Marietta Square from 11.30 to 1. You don't have to write all that down on our WordPress meet, WordCamp Atlanta website. We have all these meetups listed. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's easy to find. And they link to our- The meetup page. The meetup page. Yeah. Okay, so second Tuesday in Marietta, off the square, Ignite HQ, 11.30 to 1. We talk about lots of different things. The focus of the group for me is always on the community of WordPress. If you've ever met me, you know that I am all about the people, and that is you. So sometimes our talks are business related for those of us in the business. Sometimes the talks are how to. Once a quarter, we have a help desk, our happiness bar, Without fail, every single quarter, there is hands-on stuff, okay? Our next meeting is March the 14th. May. Ma May the 14th. <laughs> Can y'all tell I am talked out? <laughs> the brain disengaged about noon. Um, so thank you for reminding me of who and what I am. <laughs> Our topic is overwhelmed by WordCamp. <laughs> <laughs> Come learn how to put at least one item takeaway nice. into action. Very good. Cool. All right. So now, that's yeah, good. <laughs> so, 
so we have some questions here that we can ask each other, and, you know, but it's more fun if you have questions to ask us. So if you have a question, we've got um, we have a microphone coming over here and over here, so just raise your hand. And um, if you want to direct it to one individual, that's fine. If you want to just say, here's a question, then we can pass the mic around and figure out who can answer it. Hello. Hello. My name is Lisa. I come from Northwest Florida. Uh, after a couple of meet up, or a couple of word camps, I started the meetup group in our local area. Oh, cool. We had a ton of people at first, and then we had almost no volunteers. So everybody got really tired of hearing what I had to say. And we don't have good turnout. We have like 600 members. Mm -hmm. How do we get speakers? Anybody want to visit Dustin, Florida? Yes. <laughs> Seriously, I'll speak. <laughs> we have 600 Every members, so if anybody wants to come and speak, will you, will you see me, please? I'll speak September through December. How about that? Do you have so, any you know, suggestions for me? Because I'm, right, I'm frustrated because I want them to come, but they obviously don't want to listen to me. So. Okay, April. One. Yeah. <laughs> so booking speakers is my superpower as anybody who has known me for any amount of time will hear me say at least five times because I like to talk about myself a lot. Anyway, so I would say what, what's really important is for the people in your community to see what's possible. So even if you do have to bring people in from out of town, um, and this community is incredibly generous and we like to travel and we love road trips. And so I'm going to be going up to Charlotte and I'm going to be speaking at their meetup <laughs> pretty soon. <laughs> And you know what? All she had to do was ask me. And I'm like, yeah, right? <laughs> so ask some people. There's lots of people here who would love to get out and just go and do something. Um, and then your people get to see that, that people are actually traveling to do this, and it makes it more appealing to them. And so it kind of gives them a model. They have to visualize it first. Okay, so how do you, the question is, how do you get your meetup involved? Because you can't just have, you know, bring guests in all the time, right? So I think the biggest issue I've seen is people don't understand the value that they bring to the community, and they feel because they don't understand the entirety of WordPress that they don't have anything to offer. And it's really important to continue to encourage your members because as the meetup organizer your job is to help push them forward so like at camps you know making sure that you're introducing them to people because when when you are investing in them they become incredibly loyal and want to serve you back and so and making sure that they understand no matter where they are on their journey they have something to contribute Yeah. Uh, um, uh, Melanie, way back Whitney, in uh, 2000, I think it was 2012 when I did my first word camp, um, I promised myself that when, within a year I would do a presentation. So I'm going to challenge everybody out there to um, promise yourself that next year you're going to do either a meetup or a word camp presentation. There, there's going to be one thing that you learn this year that somebody else needs to know. You don't need to be an expert. You just need to be an, um, knowledgeable in one thing that you can share. And if you promise yourself that you're going to do that, then start doing the meetups. And because you can do, you can practice. I mean, look at all the practice locations you have now that you can do the same talk over and over again until you've got it nailed for WordCamp next year. Uh, Aaron. Yeah, then uh, if you could do a meetup on June second, third, or fourth, <laughs> I'll speak. <laughs> I know that's narrowing it down. You're going to be in yeah, Destin then. I'm just saying. <laughs> so my my first my first um, talk that I gave, Mickey caught me at WordCamp US and he said, you're gonna come and talk at my meetup when we get back. And I was like, okay. And I haven't shut up since, but like sometimes you really have to just grab somebody and say, you on this day, yes or no? Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> One of the other ways to get your community involved doesn't have to be speaking. You can ask somebody who is attending to take attendance. You can give them small tasks yes. so that they begin to feel like their presence is honored and welcome, invited, 
the, the trick is to make people feel like they belong there. Yes. And it's not a trick because they do belong there. Uh, it's been my experience that a lot of times meetup groups fail to thrive either because we become very cliquish among ourselves and we don't see the new people walking in the room. That is my superpower. I see new people walking in the room. And it's very easy for me, I know it's hard for some people, but say hello to the person that's sitting on your left. Look up from your laptop and meet each other. And then you begin to get connected. There is a list that I could send you of suggestions of how to get people involved. Okay. I think Eddie's got a question. Cool. Okay. Can, can I add something to that? Sure. Um, yeah. So like for a long time I was a lurker and eventually showed up at my first um, uh, WordPress meetup and I just kept going to meetups and just kind of meeting people eventually because I was pretty shy. And, and then um, I remember going to a meetup and Brett this is the Atlanta meetup when it was over at General Assembly. Brett was like, hey, I know you guys are probably tired of seeing me talk, but like, I want to open it up. If you guys want to talk about anything, then put your name on the list. We got topics. They were like, I think you had a list of already topics that you wanted to hear about, and, and maybe you, uh, people would, would want to hear it. So I signed up, and I was like, it was February, and I, it was, I signed up for June, and I'm like, I will have the cojones by then. To, to, to get up on stage and do it. And then as it got closer, I got scared and I took an improv class. But, and that's another story. <laughs> but th it was because of that, because, because Brett asked, I was like, uh, okay. And it's like, I've been able, I've had the good fortune of speaking at many of the different meetups in town. So, um, and, and at work camp. So, you know, that, it, just asking for help, right? Like I was able to like jump in and, 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 awesome. and help and it's been, wonderful experience because I got to meet so many people in the WordPress community, not just here, but everywhere. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, cool. and I've asked for interest, but I haven't asked for help. Yet. Right. I'll yeah. Yeah. Yep. Susan, do you, do you have something to add there? Yes. Okay. So I have an idea for you as well, Nancy. Something we'll that well, Marion and I have done is reach out to the freelancers in your community because the designers and the artists and the videographers, people that, people who are doing WordPress development need for projects, need these people, you need each other. And when we did that, the response was very, very good. And they are happy to come talk to you about incorporating photography into your site. In fact, Marianne is speaking at this event about that. And it gives them the stage for a bit. It also connects them to people who may actually need them on projects. So reach out. Um, if you have not set up a Facebook page for your group, you can do that because then other people can see you, what you're doing, even though they're not necessarily plugged into or even familiar with Meetup. That has worked really well for us. Cool. Uh, let's, 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 can we go? Yeah, let's go ahead and get questions and then we'll, yeah, go ahead. Um, we'll try to keep this probably to one response per question because I know you've got questions and we can all talk a long time on this, <laughs> on anything, but go ahead. Right, go ahead. What's your question? My question isn't for anyone in particular, but just about the happiness bar. Yeah. And um, do all of your meetups have happiness bars? Raise your hand if your meetup has a happiness bar at every meeting. Every meeting you have a time for there to, oh, um, that was a bad joke, okay, sorry. Or at least <laughs> like the well, no. so every month at the end of after the presenter talks, we always have a happiness bar session where if you have an issue, you can come and we'll, and that's what we do when we go around the room. We're trying to match people up. This is, I'm here, my interest in WordPress is this because I can't get this form to work or I can't get this and then we, we know, we make a mental note, they can help you, right? So we do that every meeting. If you do yours once a month, raise your hand a happiness bar once a month okay so Gwinnett um, once a quarter you have a happiness bar Noonan Marietta Gainesville Kennesaw so is that helpful yes okay yeah. cool what else what other questions oh yes Jason 
So staying on the topic of speakers, uh, what is speaker etiquette, and, or what, what, is, what do you consider speaker etiquette, and what are some requirements that you're looking for in terms of speakers? Good question. Oh. Name? <laughs> oh, Mickey? What? Well, in terms of etiquette, just the one thing, I think we've already sort of said this, is you're there to help each other, not to sell. I had one speaker who I'm pretty sure isn't in here, thankfully, um, that had like <laughs> eight, eight slides at the end when they were done, like all about how great they are in their company, why you should hire them. And you know, I think that can be implied a little bit. If you speak, people are going to know you and maybe hire you, but it should be yeah, implied at best. You're really there to serve, serve the people and yeah, help them out. Anyone else want to talk about that for a minute? Because I think that's an important one. How many of you would like to talk at a, at a WordPress meetup? Yeah? OK, good. Yeah, for us, you know, Actually, Naomi, do you want to address that at all? Do you have, I mean, I'm put, to put you on the spot? No, Aaron, anyone? I don't know. Kathy, yeah. For every meetup and for every event at a meetup, there are five good faith practices. And I cannot quote them off the top of my head, <laughs> but, the, but the concept behind it is what you are presenting is for the good of the community. Yeah. It's the motivation. And then, of course, you're being kind and inclusive and caring and helpful. The topic is not really the critical issue when I decide to choose a speaker. I want to know that you are engaged and motivated by being a member of the WordPress community. And that is first and foremost in your in your agenda, however you might present that. Yeah. Do you remember the five thingies? I don't. I Angela don't. knows. <laughs> Angela, have you looked them up? Can you talk about the five items, Angela? Yeah, I do not remember the five items. Okay. Hello, um, my name is Angela, and I'm a member of the WordPress community support team, and so we support WordCamps and meetups around the world. Um, so. Uh, what Kathy is referring to with the five good faith rules is um, if you are a meetup that's a part of the WordPress chapter meetup program, um, we do a number of things to help support your meetup. Um, if you're not a part of the chapter program, that's totally fine. Um, but being a part of the chapter program means that you have heard about and you agree to the five good faith rules. Um, so in quick summary, uh, the five good faith rules are, uh, let's see, First and foremost, as Kathy said, uh, they are for the good of the community, not for any specific businesses or people. Uh, number two, oh boy, you're really putting me on the spot here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I, th I thought you might have looked it up while I was yakking. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, uh, oh, um, meetups are uh, inclusive and available to everyone. So um, one benefit of all chapter meetup programs is that they are free to attend. Um, for meetups in the chapter program, um, they adhere to all the, uh, the, let's see, how do I put this? Um, so it's uh, speakers, specifically for speakers and organizers and all volunteers, uh, they do need to adhere to the GPL, uh, the general public license, and uh, respect the trademark of the WordPress logo as well. Um, fourth is that anybody can organize, uh, so even if um, you are uh, you can be anybody, um, as long as you agree to the five good faith rules. Um, so even if you're not an expert, if you don't think you're an expert, um, but you want to build your local WordPress community, do it. Um, get involved in your local community. Um, if there is one already, if there isn't, you can start one. Um, and the last is that uh, WordPress communities are very inclusive. Uh, they should be um, so any like racist, homophobic, bigoted, um, inappropriate behavior should be addressed immediately. Did I get all five? Yeah. I think I got all five. <laughs> you know, we, it's usually a 30 to 40 minute presentation um, that we're looking for and there's usually some structure behind it. Sometimes we sit around and just have kind of a discussion, um, but it's good, helpful to have slides very similar to what everyone's doing here, and then you have a Q and A. So you know, know what you're going to talk about, but it doesn't have to be a 
award-winning presentation, just something that stimulates discussion, and that's something that is different among these as well. Remember that a lunchtime meetup, the 11.30 to 1 o'clock, you're trying to be respectful of people's time. They're taking their lunch hour to come to the meetup. Um, so it's kind of to the point, usually. Um, it may not be quite as discussion-oriented, although some are, uh, but some are very laid back, where you're just kind of talking, and, and it's, a, it's a little bit different. Diana. up in front of people and talking, a good way to get started is to find a partner mm -hmm. who will talk with you and or put together a small panel of people to discuss something specific. So yeah. all of it's not on you. That's a great way to do a first time talk is a panel. So, um, Kevin? Yeah. One thing I, that also, I, I mean, it's sort of been assumed I think by a lot of people here, but I, just so that you do know, is if you are a member of the WordPress chapter program, they are paying the fees for Meetup. You're basically on their account. Yep. So then you don't have to pony up the money for the, for the month, monthly fee to, to Meetup. So it's a nice, nice little perk. Hurt. It's helpful. And the Union button is sticky. Button. <laughs> <laughs> Which are super cool. All right, we've got a question here. Yeah. What? What? I had the microphone. I was going to talk. Oh. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next, Sheila. <laughs> I have more of a comment than a question. Yeah. Um, and I just wanted to say for people who are starting meetups for the first time, that when someone comes to your page and visits your page, Meetups Incorporated or dot .com, dot com or whatever yeah. considers them a member. And so I sent, a, I started a meet up for keto, for nutritional ketosis. And um, I had lots of people that just visited, and so I sent them all a welcome letter and everything, and, and luckily one of the people got back to me and let me know, she also has a meet up, um, and she let me know that just by nature of them visiting, that they are assigned to be a member. So don't get discouraged if you have like 50 members and then no one shows up or RSVPs or something because yeah. sometimes that's meetups, not you. <laughs> okay. Yep. Um, Sheila? Hi, everybody. My name is Sheila and I'm from um, Seattle. <laughs> I put on WordCap there twice and I lead a monthly meetup that's for freelancers. And I just, first of all, I want to applaud that you have so many. And this is a great idea. We're going to steal it for our word camp. I mean, you guys are awesome. <laughs> um, and I loved what Kathy had to say about community. That's kind of my way, too, is it's all about building the community. And um, I have so many different things I could say, and I don't want to hog this. But what I stood up to say was that since getting speakers is such a challenge, and I, we hear that in Seattle still, and we have a lot of meetup groups that are very successful. Um, the, the freelancer meetup I run monthly, we don't have speakers. In fact, yep. we, after three years, we just had our first speaker. We sit in a circle and introduce ourselves, and we have the, either the end of the year or the beginning of the year, we do what's called lean coffee, but it's just a brainstorming technique for topics. And then we set our topics for the year, and we announce our topics, but the group has a lot of wisdom within it. Yep. And we, we first do our introductions, and we have, we have an agenda that's consistent throughout all our meetups with the code of conduct and the, the five principles and stuff. And then, um, then we talk about the topic, and everybody shares resources. And for this particular meetup, we say it's not about plugins and themes. It's about people who are making their living using WordPress. Yep. So it's very targeted. And it's also interesting to hear, I guess, I don't know the geography here. It's my first time in Georgia. But I guess you're really, really spread out to have all these different geographic yes. meetups. So in greater Seattle, our meetups aren't so geographic. They're specific. So we have a do-it-yourself meetup for bloggers and people who just do their own website and they're not professionals. And then we have this freelancer one. And then we have a help desk one. We have specialized meetups as opposed to a specialized geography that yep. I'm just in awe of what you guys are doing. So yeah. thank you all <laughs> for volunteering and building this community. Yes, awesome. I think, so yeah, uh, we'll to address uh, your question earlier, um, even if you don't have a happiness bar at uh, your meetups, um, how often do you have uh, not official support, but if somebody comes with a question, somebody's going to leave with an answer? 
I would think always at every meeting. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, every meeting. And that's something we all encourage. If you've got something, bring it. That's, a, that's the perfect time to bring it. And maybe not an answer, but at least a resource where they can find the answer. That's right. Yeah. Um, so I run the Houston meetups in, yeah, in Houston. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm with you. Ready to go. Um, and so I'm just curious. I know that you guys um, and how many of you all have run your own meetups. We have one a month, and I'm wondering, you know, certain number of groups people come in. They're kind of mixed. And I'm wondering if it would be good to kind of have the idea of splitting it off. Um, so I have one a month, we have two others, one a month, one a month, so three a month, different locations, but I've thought about having another meetup just for either just beginners or just developers or, because yep. you have two, right, April? Um, we do two a month, but it's yeah. the same meetup. Oh, it's the same meetup, okay, all right. I was just curious if any of y'all do more than one a you, month for different audiences. Naomi's is probably the most distributed, like, you want to... You do multiple, uh, multiple a month. Yeah, so uh, Gwinnett is the, if I'm correct, it's the second largest county uh, here in Georgia. So we do have a, uh, a pretty wide area. And um, we also have it where some people can only make, um, you know, some days aren't good for them, some times aren't good for them. And so that's why we started branching out. Um, we started with the developer yeah, meetup. We're done. And then... We said, okay, you know, we want to help out those that are beginners. So we built up a core of developers first that could then uh, run our help sessions that we do every month. And then our help session became so popular that now we do multiple help sessions uh, each month uh, at different times on different days because some people just couldn't make one of the days. And then from there, from our developer meetup, we got people that, you know, we uh, had things that, wow, this topic is really good. We wish we had more time. And so I said, well, look, does anybody want to, you know, start practicing this stuff, uh, come together and work? And that's how our hack days uh, got started. And so it just really, you know, just came out of need. And because we do have, um, and then, you know, traffic. You know, traffic is, is just a bear. And so that's why it's like, okay, now let's, let's try to, you know, meet people where they are and we can go to the different cities and just try to help people as much as we can. Uh, that's, our, that's our goal. Yeah. Awesome, cool. So we have 10 minutes left and I, wanna, I want you to have time to talk to the different uh, meetup organizers. So they're getting situated and I'll let you know where they are, but move, talk to them. If you've got additional questions, ask those questions, but thank you for attending this. So. <laughs> All right, so Kathy, Kathy, raise your hand. This is Marietta right here. Robin, raise your hand. Gainesville. April right here is Woodstock down front. Melanie is Noonan over here. Susan is Kennesaw over here. Jason is Douglasville, raise your hand. Kevin is Southwest Gwinnett. Norcross Peachtree Corners. Aaron is Atlanta, Naomi is Gwinnett right here, and I'm Alpharetta up here. Please, yes, Angela? Angela's in the middle and she is the WordPress community. So please meet an organizer. <laughs> hey!